Howdy folks, welcome back to Empyreon Academy. In this episode we are going to look at the basics of building. So the first thing you want to do when you build anything is you need a starter. And so there are four different kinds of starters right now. There's a base, a small vessel, a capital vessel, and a hover vessel. So that determines what type of thing you're building and what type of blocks you can attach to it and how everything functions. So the first thing we're going to look at is a base and with all of the different types what you need to do is you need to have a core and fuel and generator in order for it to function and so those are the the basic components so this is and now a functional base if you stand on it and you press p that opens the control panel and as you see here it will show all three of these parts to add blocks to your base, what you need to do is you select them in your hotbar and if you want different shapes of your blocks you can right click and it will bring up this window that will show you all the different types of shapes. So you select the type of shape you want and it will come up. Now you can rotate the blocks. As you see there's an axis here. Insert and delete will change the axis that it spins on and home and end will spin the block on whichever axis you have selected. So if you want to spin it this way and then if you hit that, delete, and then you hit home and end and you can spin it around that axis. So that's how you select the blocks. Now what you can also do is you can split blocks into different stacks and what you'll see here is that this stack of block is the cube and you can change this one to say the triangle and now when you switch back this one is still the cube and also if you rotate this around and then you go back and you have your cube here and you change that to say your corner here and rotate it this way when you switch back your other stack keeps how it is rotated which is very helpful so if you need to work with different shapes of blocks and go back and forth you don't need to keep going back and forth to this window all the time in order to switch your blocks back and forth you can just split your stacks up and the other thing you want to know about splitting your stacks here is that whenever you move or split or add or anything like that from to and from these stacks, the block will reset. So as you can see here, this is the ramp block. Now we're going to go and we're going to take this off and put it right back on. And it is now reset. And if you'll notice, there is a blue hexagon field. That is the bottom or back of the block. And so if you rotate this, for example, you rotate your square block and now it's on the side. And again, when you go like this, it now resets it and it's back on the bottom again. And this is actually important even with the cubes. When you're laying out a bunch of cubes, you will want to lay them in the same orientation. Don't do this. <laughs> and rotate them like this here like this because what happens is when you go to paint them they will have different textures so let me show you with the paint gun or the texture gun if I can find it here and we'll go change the textures on here so that you can see what happens when you rotate them around and so when you do this this is what you're gonna end up with textures that are rotated in different directions and if you do end up with that on the cubes there is another tool that will allow you to rotate and that is the change and rotate tool so when you're pointing at a block with it you can now do the same thing as you're doing when you're pre-placing pre is you can you can spin it okay like that with the home and end and the insert and delete keys just like the other ones another tool you have for building is the multi-tool this uses charges and what it does is it's repair and remove and so when you right click or when you left click you basically shoot at the blocks and it will remove them and as you see over here it gives you the parts back that you used to make the pieces so when you recover blocks that you've put on you get all of your pieces back you don't lose anything other than just the ammo that you used for the multi-tool here the other thing the multi-tool can do is it can repair. So if you see up here, it shows it only has 100 hit points. So if you right-click on the block, 
it will repair it slowly, but it will repair it. So you can repair your blocks if you happen to accidentally hit them or damage them. Now you'll want to notice in the map that there is PvP and there's PvE worlds. In a player versus environment world, you cannot damage your own blocks with weapons. And that is important to know. So we'll show you here. This is a PvP world, and this works the way you would expect it to. If I shoot my blocks, it will do damage to them. So you can see they're taking damage. And eventually... <laughs> and there you go. So you can blow up stuff using... <laughs> using weapons and that kind of thing. You can damage your own stuff in a PvP world. When it is PvE, you actually can't damage your own stuff like that and you actually do need the repair and remove tool in order to get rid of your own blocks. Another handy tool for building is the symmetry axis. Now you can bring up some extra build tools by holding down the N key. And as you see, this little window pops up up here. Now you wanna do this when you have a block in your inventory here in your hand and you're going to select one of the symmetry planes. And so there's three different planes, the blue one here, the red one lays flat, and this one goes front to back on the ships. And so when you click on a location, it will place the axis on whatever location you just clicked. Now it will mirror things across this axis as you build, like that. And so you can see it will properly mirror all the pieces. Now it will correctly mirror pieces such as this. So as you can see the ramp piece works correctly and there are a few of the larger pieces that will not work correctly and so some of these, the sloped walls and stuff, you do have to watch out for. So let's get this set up here. We'll put this so that we can see what we're doing here. And so this one goes down, and as you see, it actually just rotates around there. So some of these, the smaller, these thinner blocks, do have problems with the symmetry, but all the rest of these work very well. And the other thing you'll have to watch out for is the windows when you're doing the multi-block, such as these, the large windows. They will also have problems because they mirror across where the little green axis here is instead of the actual center of the block. So when you're doing multi-piece multi, multi -piece blocks, you don't want to mirror them. <laughs> you want to turn off the symmetry axis for that. Plenty of other pieces have the same sort of setup where you can select from multiple types. So when you first get your blocks, as you can see here, the windows have different types that you can choose from. The stairs also have different types that you can choose from. So you can do the shorter, the shallower slope and you can also do the open stairs here and you have some walkway blocks that can be act, that can act as railings and you also have the flat railings and then you have some shuttered window blocks and armored window blocks that you can use if you're trying to build at night and it's too dark and you can't see what you're doing what you can do is one thing you can add lights to your base if you're building it and if you actually have the ability to turn it on before you're done you can actually put lights on it and that will light up your work area and the other thing you can do is you can use a vehicle with spotlights on it for example this one has spotlights up here on the front as you can see and so that's lighting up or if you have lights for example on on this one that has the lights on the bottom and so you can park it whichever way you need to in order to get your lights pointed at your base. This also is very handy for when you're trying to build in space because whichever side is not facing the sun tends to be super dark. Another way to get lights is to use your personal drone which is launched with the F5 key as you see here and the lights are a little overblown right now but they'll probably be fixing those but this gives you some light at night which is very handy it's just not as easy to control as the player so a lot of people prefer to use a ship and light up the area instead 
Another handy use of the drone is hard to reach places, obviously. So what you can do is you can get the drone all the way up to significantly high places. You probably won't need any other method to reach places, but in an emergency or in extreme circumstances, what you can actually do is you can use your ship as a scaffold. So you get out and you stand on top of your ship and for some reason they are currently not hovering. I assume they'll be fixing that because they've always been capable of hovering when you get out and stand on your ship. So I've actually in the past built specific scaffold ships, but you don't really need to do that. You can just get out on the top of your cockpit and stand on it and then launch your drone to wherever you need to reach. If you want to lay out multiple blocks at a time, you don't need to sit here and click one at a time. What you can do is click and hold and now swing your mouse over and you can actually lay out a whole bunch at a time. You can lay out up to 11 blocks at a time in creative mode even more. And if you want to lay out a plane, you can drag and then when you hold down the control key, it will allow you to lay out a whole plane. Now in survival mode, you can only lay out, it's about 100 blocks in a plane at a time. And the other thing you want to watch out for is if you watch here, as soon as you cross onto the axis here, it's going to try to put all the blocks on whatever axis you're sitting on. So when you're doing these rectangles like this, you'll want to sit at a diagonal to where you're trying to lay it so and pull it toward yourself. So you want the rectangle to be, tween, be between you and the place where you started. Like that. The other thing you need to watch out for with bases is when you're building, you can run into decorations here and it will give you problems with that <laughs> like that it will not allow you to lay pieces across a deck across a decoration so what you want to do is in this case as you see here it's not letting you do that so you can take a weapon out and get rid of the decorations and now you can build across them in creative mode you have a few additional tools I should warn you that real men do not use creative mode, so make sure you know that before you start using it. <laughs> and here are some tips that you can use. First is you can control the time. So you can control how fast the time goes. So we'll show you here. When you do this, the time starts zooming by and you do this, the time stops. And you can also set the time with this bar which is very handy so if you don't want to build at night in creative mode you don't have to the other thing you can do is if you hold your run key and right click on a block while you're holding any block in your hand as you can see here it lets you remove blocks instantly so you don't you don't need the repair and remove tool in order to do that it's much handier to do it this way and the other thing that you have in creative mode is you have an item menu so if you, when you click on anything in here, if you hit H, it'll open up the item menu. And then when you click on anything in here, it will actually move it to the first open slot on your hotbar. And one of the things that is handy for doing, if you're trying to remove blocks on here with a quick clicking, right click removal, it's easier if you do a, a small block like this instead of using an entire block, because then you net you don't necessarily see what you're pointing at. And so this will let you point at a little bit more precisely. It'll let you point, you can see what block you're pointing at in order to remove them. One last tip, and this is another one for building at night. If you're having problems seeing and you don't have any way of lighting things up, you hold down the N key. And if you turn on the structure on integrity, it will light up your blocks with the SI and we will go through that in the base building video. So I'm not going to explain how that works right now, but as you can see, this lights up your blocks and makes it easier to at least see so that you can build in the dark a little bit more easily until you have a better lighting solution. So that's going to be all the tips we have for today. Join me in the next video and we will go through building small vessels. See you then.